G'day gang, game one of you done here. How you going? We just exited the New Moon Fortress. And uh, we're gonna head back to the Dragon Guard Sanctum. We're back here on Dragonhold. Elder Scrolls Online. While we're here, I wonder if the... Where are we? I wonder if this is... There's an arch. <gasps> there's an arch there. Hang on a second. There's an arch here too. We were looking for a sky shard earlier on. I wonder if it's on that, or near it, or under it, or below it, or somewhere around it. Well, it's a good thing we came this way, because I did need to return to Black Heights. There's the arch. Let me read this. Keep referring to it. Where falling water meets the natural arch east of Black Heights. Maybe over here. Ah, oh, I can see it. There it is. Now can we get up to it? Might have to go up the top and drop down. Actually, we're probably very close to it before. We may have just needed to uh, drop down a few. Where's that bow? Where's that bow? So somehow we're gonna get around to the other side. See, we went through that. <laughs> so we were very close. We were so very close. We were so very close, we were pretty much there. We just needed to drop down here, I guess. God! There it is. Ah, oh, man, we were probably... We were just about looking at it. <laughs> there we got it. Okay. Cool. Now, is there a quick way down without dying? Oh! Oh! In with a splash. Alright, let's go return that. Then we'll head over to... Uh, we can go straight over, actually. To the Dragon Guard Way Shrine. After a little swim swim. Guess who's back? Must you work where Julissa just swept? You're as bad as her sister. Why do you bother this one? Juisa has much work to do. Always cleaning, always fixing. This one is the only one in this family who works. No one else even offers. Too busy painting dead beats. Your sister asked me to bring her to you. I found her in this sack. By the moons, what has Janessa gotten into this time? Did she steal your drinks? Break something you left sitting on the bar? Claw the eyes out of someone you know? Not that I'm aware of. <sighs> that is a first, then. Usually when she stumbles home after a few nights out, there is a trail of destruction that follows. Take some gold for your trouble, and dump her out, Walker. The little troublemaker doesn't deserve your pity. Oh! Hey! I said carry me home, not toss me! <sighs> If not for them, you'd be in a gutter or buried in a pile of potato sacks, more likely. What did you do this time? Don't talk down to me! I mean, you know what I mean. Cutting loose once in your life would do you some good. Juisa is glad you think so. 
thank you for volunteering to take over her chores while she takes the week off. Ugh, kill me. Huzzah! Alright, let's go. Uh, to the Sanctum. She gave us enough money to, to cover the cost of travel. So we'll do that. I mean, the way shrine's not too far, but it's far enough that I'm... I'd rather just pay for that. Sir Sai of the Sahan. I'm coming. Coming to see ya. Report in, Dragon Guard. Were you able to infiltrate Latvalon's cult? Yes. They're called the Order of the New Moon and they're a sizable force. The Order of the New Moon? Strange. I've heard the Khajiit speak of bright moons, dark moons, even a hidden moon. But I do not know the significance of a new moon. What about the green stone you saw in the quarry? Did you learn more about it? It's called Aeon Stone. The cultists give their life energy to it to empower Latvion. Valon? Latvalon, you know the guy. And Nathalar believes this Aeon Stone can enhance that energy as well. By Lucky's blade, this looks grim. A sizable dragon cult that's able to directly empower their dragon gods. There's more. They're mounting an attack on a place called Pride Home. And we must do everything in our power to stop them. Thank you for taking this risk, my friend. Through your actions, we know where the cult plans to strike next. Here, another treasure from the Sanctum stores. You certainly earned it. The Dragon God Boo. We know now that the Order of the New Moon plans to strike against Pride Home. While I don't doubt your information, I have no idea why the cult would target such a place. What could they possibly hope to gain by attacking a peaceful temple? I wasn't told the cult's objective. Is there anyone who might know more? Nathalar might. He's dealt with Latvalon in the past and may have a better understanding of the cult's motives. Why don't you talk with our dragon ally? Meanwhile, I'll rally the rest of our companions and head to Pride Home. I'll speak with Nafala and meet you at Pride Home. Situated to the north, Pride Home sits on the outskirts of Tenmar Forest. I'll note the location on your map. Hopefully, Nafala can shed some light on what the cult might want there. What do you know about Pride Home? It's a temple dedicated to the worship of Alkosh, the dragon god of time. A strikingly similar deity to the Imperial Akatosh. I only know of Pride Home through the legends of Grandmaster Vashupir and his fight with the Black Beast. Who is Grandmaster Vashupir? You haven't heard the tale? Pride Home, hear my call! Vashupir shouted. The Black Beast scorches your land and devours your people. Only with the wisdom of Alkosh may I defeat this dragon, and only with your help may I hear the Dragon God. So the Moon Priest of Pride Home helped Vashupir defeat a dragon? I wouldn't take it quite so literally. The Dragon Guard always tried to show respect to the local population. They probably asked for Pride Home's blessing as a sign of goodwill. I doubt the priests helped in a direct manner. Alright, well let's talk about our dragon ally. How is Nafalar doing? I couldn't tell you. Nafalar comes and goes as he pleases. He doesn't feel the need to report in to us mere mortals. Not that I expected courtesy from a dragon, mind you. Sounds like you're not very pleased with our dragon ally. I won't deny that. If Nafalar doesn't wish to fight alongside us, I'm not sure why he agreed to this alliance. Perhaps you can get through to him. Make him understand that we need his help to defeat Latvalon. Yep. Yep, yep, I'll give it a crack. Now, fellow, we gotta we gotta talk, mate. You walk with purpose, hunter. What hastens your steps? Latvalon's cult is attacking a temple. Called Pride Home. Do you know why? Lord Vulan flinches at the shadows of his past. The Kaz Kal Sul are no more, and yet he fears them still. <laughs> Pathetic. What is the Kaz Kal Sul? The pride of Alkash in your tongue. 
Kajiti warriors of ages past. Hmm. Some advice, Hunter. Pride Home is not worth our effort. We must concentrate on the battle ahead. Saving priests does little for our cause. This alliance isn't just about defeating Latvalon. We also need to protect elsewhere. <sighs> Why put yourself at risk for such an insignificant victory? Let these priests die so that you may live to fight another day. The Dragon Guard is going to protect Pride Home with or without your help. Fine. I shall make my way to Pride Home for the sake of our alliance. <sighs> <laughs> Huffin' and puffin' Emery's. I like that helmet of yours, mate. Not so crazy about the rest of it, but the helmet looks awesome. Anyway. Oh, we're going to go to Pride Home. Oh, we might as well go to the... To the Way Shrine. Save ourselves a couple of... Couple of bob. Couple of bits. Bits and bobs. Yeah, I really like that helmet. wonder if I got it. Might craft it. Or maybe it's from here. For the Dragon Guard Armory. Alright, so we have... Now... Let me just check our quests. Yeah, okay, so this is Pride of Alkalosh. Alkosh. Let's go to... Yeah, yep. Done, done. Righty. Search the area. We need to find out what the cult wants with Pride Home. You got it, Sai. Over here, Walker. This was written by the clan mother. Could be important. By clan mother Hizuni, Alkosh wheezes and pulls threads tight, a tapestry of endless time. He seeks a snag and frowns. With a single claw, he pierces the fabric, catching the snag and pulling it below. The threads realign. I sing of that tapestry, of those tight threads of endless story. The priests of Pride Home sing with me until our voices become harmony. But those who enter into the pride of Alkosh will become the Dragon King's claws. To catch and pull those dangling threads. They come to us as cubs born under the dark eclipse. They are forgotten manes, destined to never rule. We give them purpose, guidance. We sing the words of Alkosh so that the wisdom may collect in their hearts like the bottom of an hourglass. These secret defenders who shall join the pride of Alkosh. When Alkosh frowns, they rise. When elsewhere cries, they fight. And with their dying breath, Ganathi will be there. To guide them to a place beyond the sands, behind the stars. Seems there's more to Pride Home than we thought. The Pride of Alkosh. Forgotten manes who protect the threads of time, hidden away in this modest temple. Nafala mentioned the Pride of Alkosh. He said Latvalon was afraid of them. Makes sense. This pride of Elkosh protects elsewhere in times of great need. Dragons scheming to destroy us all would certainly seem to qualify, yes. Then, then where are these warriors? Why aren't they defending Pride Home? Wish I knew, Walker. We could certainly use the reinforcements. You should find the clan mother and see what she knows, if she's still alive, that is. Alright, I'll search. Search for the clan mother. Zaji further ahead. He heard some bells and went running off. Quite bold of him. He may have a big mouth, but he's never been one for a direct fight. Has our little captain finally found his courage? <laughs> What's the situation, Casca? Not good, if that's what you're asking. Many of the moon priests are already dead, and the cult has spread throughout Pride Home. I'm beginning to wonder what good we can do here. 
We should at least try to learn why the cult attacked Prydome. Agreed. Whatever they're after, we need to make sure the cult doesn't get it, even if that's just information. The clan mother should know something. See if you can find her. New Moon Legionary. Dreadnought there. A lot of dead. Dude with a torch in the middle of the day for some reason. <laughs> Not enough illumination for him and his cat eyes. Zaji. Hey, look at this! A letter from Mother! isn't it? Mother wrote a letter to Pride Home's clan mother. Don't believe me? Look for yourself. Clan mother Hizuni, no doubt you heard that the dragons have been unleashed. They seek others of their kind in the deep places of the world and have been... have even released the demon from the east. We both knew this day would come and we both know what it means. The demon from the east must be destroyed by a warrior filled with the spirit of Alkosh, as was always written. It is time to end this ancient battle, as the pride of Alkosh was always meant to. I hope your chosen warrior is prepared. We cannot fail, Clan Mother Tadali. This one knew Mother could read, but he never saw her write. How does she hold the quill? A demon from the east, the pride of Alkosh. What is Mother going on about? You were raised in a temple. You must know something about all this. Well, this one remembers something about the pride of Alkosh. They were warriors born during an eclipse. Made them more sensitive to time and the call of the moons. For some, it gave them the wisdom to become a main, a leader. For others... For others? They follow a difficult path, Walker. Born under dark moons, the drum of Lorkaj calls to them clearly. Or so the stories go. You should let Sai Sahan know about this. He's deeper within the compound. Okay, I'll let him know. Maybe Mother holds the quill in her mouth? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Focus, Zaji. Why would your mother write a letter to Pride Home? No idea. Mother's temple worships Kenati, while Pride Home appears dedicated to Alkosh. They're both of the eight, true, but... Huh. Actually... There is one legend that Zaji remembers. A legend? One of Zaji's favorites. There was once a Khajiiti warrior, blessed by Alkosh himself. She fought a mighty demon, drenched in ice and death. Though the warrior was able to trap the demon away, she did not survive the battle. I see where Alkosh comes into the story, but what about Kanathi? <laughs> Zaji was getting to that part. The warrior's corpse was taken to Kanathi's breath temple where the moon priests prayed over her body for four days and four nights. On the fourth night, when both moons were full, Kenarthi herself appeared. What happened next? With a single swipe of Kenarthi's paw, the warrior's spirit rose from her corpse. Together, they flew into the sky, passed the sands behind the stars, and went to a place beyond all that is known. There, Alkosh welcomed his warrior home. So Kanathi guided this warrior to Alkosh's realm. So the legend says. But a Kajiti tale is as reliable as, say, a harlot's affection. One should not take either too seriously, yes? Yes. Alright, we should. Burn it! Go back. <laughs> I thought that guy might have found a sky shot or something. Secret sky shot. Oh! Oh 
yeah. Guess where you're going. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting to do that for such a long time. Oh, can we parkour our way up here? Yes, we can. <laughs> we need we need a boot button. Just kick him right off the side. Just keep the pressure there, and you should be all right. Thank you, young Shah. Oh, it's all right, folks. Just just sit down. It's fine. You are with the Dragon Guard, yes? Do you know who attacks our temple? The Order of the New Moon, a dragon cult. They're led by the dragon priest, Rakajin. Rakajin? No. He was raised in this temple. We were brothers in all but blood. And yet, he's the one causing all this death, all this destruction. It cannot be true. It is true. We're trying to stop him. Do you know why Pridome was attacked? Oh, they seek the clan mother. Noziwa does not know why. Please, she cannot come to harm. You must find her. The last this one saw, she was heading toward the inner temple. Okay, I'm on it. Elia? Saisahan went on ahead. Saisahan is just up ahead. You should speak to him before moving on to the inner temple. Yep. Sigh, sigh, sigh. Oh, he's over there, okay. The cultist moved through Pride Home swiftly. I suspect more await us beyond this gate. The Moon Priest here didn't even possess weapons to defend themselves with. Why would the Order of the New Moon attack this peaceful place? I'm not sure why, but I think they're after the clan, Mother. A Khajiiti wise woman? Hmm. Perhaps they seek her knowledge. It's said the clan mothers keep many secrets to themselves, often deceiving others with half-truths and riddles. Do you know where this clan mother is? I'm told she fled through here to the inner temple. The cult wasn't far behind. Then let's hope we get to her before the cult does. We should get moving. Okay. <laughs> By way he means me. The inner temple is just ahead. Let's move. Oh, he's with us. Back together again. The dream team. Bubbles. Nephilim. Decided to show up after all. Where is he? I hear him. Oh, there he is. Wait, that's not him. Is it? Let's mount up. The Dragon Guard Warriors here, everybody's here, let's go. Set scales. See if she's still there. The Dragon Guard comes to our aid, and the threads intertwine once more. Izuni has one song left in her. Though she may be too weak to sing it. Will you hear it? I need to know why the cult attacked you. Then you must listen. Once a cub was born under the eclipsed moons, destined not to live as main, but to join the pride of Alkosh. We trained him as a holy warrior, a hidden protector. 
But that was not enough for Rakajin. Rakajin was supposed to be... Supposed to join the Pride of Alkosh? Yes. But greed poisoned his heart. He wanted to rule over elsewhere, not protect it. Then the demon from the east returned. It promised the power of a new moon. And Rakajin listened. Who's the demon from the east? No time. No time. Alkosh, grant me a moment more. The mask. You must find the mask before Rakajin does. Seek the path. Let our founder be your guide. Her statue will... will... Clan Mother Huzuni. Step away, Dragon Guard. She has passed on. The clan mother spoke of the statue. We should examine it. Jadari the Endless, Kanathi's breath, and Lorkaj. Lorkaj's shadow. She walked on paths with pride. Azura's light and Elkosh's roar. She bowed and was so was blessed. Red Beast Horn and Mask Divine. Her end was just a beginning. Yes, of course. The statue wears a mask, doesn't it? What did the inscription tell you? The statue represents Jadari. The inscription mentions a red beast's horn and a divine mask. Jadari? As in the horn of Jadari? It seems Nephilar has some explaining to do. This Jadari must be part of the pride of Alkosh, perhaps even its founder. Why else would they so prominently display her statue? And Rakajin wants his divine mask, though we're not sure why. The Clan Mother requested we find the mask before Rakajin does, so I can only assume it's a relic of great power, something we wouldn't want in the cult's hands. We need to find this divine mask before the Order of the New Moon beats us to it. But we have no idea where the mask is. Then let's see what our resident red beast thinks of all this. Hopefully Nathalar is still nearby. Let's ask him about Jadari and the divine mask her statue wears. Perhaps this time he'll be more forthcoming. Let me just have a look at the back here. Aha! You see? You gotta look around, folks. You never know what you might find. No. Forward roll? For no reason. The clan mother? We were too late. She's dead. How could Rakashi do this? Izuni was a mother to him, to both of us. Fate will catch up with Rakujin eventually. We'll avenge. Vengeance means little to the dead, Dragon God. I have come hmm. for all the good it accomplished. The cult seeks a divine mask that belongs to the pride of Alkosh. We need to find it first. The Mask of Alkosh. Ah, Lord Vulan is a fool. His pathetic priest will never be worthy of such a relic. Not like Jadari. They chase that which they can never hope to control. What is this mask and who's Jadari? Jadari. I called her Toshrakat, the founder of Pride Home and the first of Alkosh's pride. She once wore the mask, yes. And I suspect her corpse guards it still. But none of this matters. It does matter. Your horn is named after Jadari. There must be more of a connection. <sighs> then learn the truth for yourself. If you seek the mask, speak with the clan mother of Kanarthi. 
It was her temple that cared for Jadari's remains. Fine. I'll speak with the clan mother, Tadali. Seek the mask if you wish. I will deal with Latvulan. Oh, another trip to Mother's Temple? Oh, oh no, I am not dealing with another one of your bouts of depression. Ilya will go. I will? I mean, of course I will. It's settled. You two will head to Kanarthi's Temple and search for the mask. Kaska, Zaji, you're with me. Clan Mother Tadali may still be upset with Zaji, but she came across as very wise. I'm sure she'll help us if we explain the situation. I hope so, Elia. I'll see you there.